Hey, what's up, guys? It's Brescia here. Um, so it is about two o'clock in the morning, and I've just received my update for the um, 2012 dashboard update beta. As you can see, we've already got the new my pins, and it just it just looks. I don't know. It just for some reason looks different. I don't know if it necessarily is, but you can definitely see the new my pins there. Um, if you if you wonder why I'm covering up the top right hand corner is because there's a non-disclosure agreement which basically says um, that no one is allowed to make a video and review this. I do not work for any sort of media so I don't, I don't see how this can be against a non-disclosure agreement. I'm sharing it with YouTube because I feel it needs to be seen. Oh and one update that I have seen is in the top right hand corner it will scroll, you know how it scrolls between like messages and your profile and gamer score and blah 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 well it also shows your um, email now which can get quite annoying when recording videos so that's why that's up there so anyway let's get down to the video and um, so as I was saying uh, obviously we've got the new my pins there for the home tab and on uh, the social tab doesn't seem that much different at all I've got to block out my gamer tag there um, of course, uh, like as I was saying, sorry, no, nothing's different there. And on the games tab, uh, there doesn't. Apart from the right-hand side, if you see there, the recommendations, it recommends you uh, like games and such to um, to download or buy. I think that could be quite useful, especially when uh, like receiving updates on what's just came out. That could come in, and that could be very handy. So. Yeah, look, looking good so far. Right, next up we got the TV and movies tab. Once again, we've got the recommendations on the right hand side. Um, and I, I don't pay too much attention to this tab because I only use it for Netflix. So I don't know if there's additions to the left hand side or not. You guys have to tell me that in the comments. But yeah, still looking good. Next up we've got the music. This time no recommendations. Still looks the same to me. But again, I don't spend too much time on this tab. Next up we got the apps, of course, the much anticipated Internet Explorer coming to Xbox. I have pre I've tested this before making this and I, I personally don't like it. I mean I've never liked Internet Explorer but the way they've incorporated it into Xbox it just doesn't, I, I don't feel it's good for Xbox at all. They could do much better. I'll show you it right here, what it's like. Gotta wait for it to load. Right, this is basically the browser. This is what it's looking at like at the minute. You've got your little cursor here, which speeds up and slows down. Oh, it's really annoying. I've not liked this at all. Okay, so let's just go to a website, any old website. Um, let's go to tech.reboot.pro, one of my favorite forums, of course. Right, as you can see, it's, it's all looking fairly good. I mean, like it doesn't all fit on one page, but obviously not. I mean, sorry, it doesn't all fit in the width of the TV, shall I say, sorry. Uh, it's quite hard to read. I don't know if it's because I'm on a HD 42-inch um, TV or just because it's in Tech Explorer. Right, as you can see, if you're scrolling down, it all seems pretty fine. It's a little quick on the scrolling for me, because I personally like to go through things. But it is, it is okay, I guess. But I've not personally used the PS3 browser, but I've heard it's like basically better compared to this. So it is a fairly quick loading. It all looks pretty good, apart from the fonts hard to read. Again, I don't know if that's just my TV or not. But yeah, apart from that, it's still a good addition. I mean, they, they've tried at least. Okay, let's see what else we've got on the dashboard added. All right, where do we get up to? We got up to the apps. All right, uh, settings. Again, well, that's not important really. I don't think there's any anything new there. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, my pins can be very useful because you can pin things like Netflix or your IE or just just all the shit you basically use a lot can all be pinned inside there and it's very easy to access. 
and I really like it. I mean, that, that's a good idea. I'm glad they've added that in. Um, I think I've covered everything. I hope I have at least. If I missed anything out, let me know in the comments, and I will reply. Right, this has been Br uh, Breshi. Have a good day.